Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Welcome in. So glad you were able to join. Probably um, not as happy to join as I am to be here, but we'll save that for another time. Um, thank you for jo joining. I've been away, it feels like, forever. Um, but that was due to family stuff and work. I mean, YouTube doesn't pay my bills, so I still had to um, travel and do those things that were necessary. And then as I shared with many of you, um, my nephew had surgery a few weeks ago, um, had a slight setback and actually had to have a second round of surgery. So I stayed at my sister's request um, to help uh, once he got home from the second surgery and that ran right into a business trip. So I literally had to go and buy clothes, work clothes to even get through the week because I did not go to Tennessee prepared to stay and then travel. So it has been uh, pretty interesting. I'm glad that you're here. I'm happy to be here. The last video that I posted, I'm not sure whether it was a live or if it was a video on demand, but um, on that video, I tagged a few ladies. There were about 12 ladies that I tagged in a Dooney Collection Essentials video. So I asked those ladies um, who were Suz What, Mono's Beauty, Lucinda Quimbley, Mrs. Q, DJ King, Carmen Hawkins, Tara's Makeup and Handbags, Determined to Be, Noel Frailer, Military Mom, LV Lux Girl, and Purse Diverse, um, along with any other ladies that want to participate in the tag, um, your 10 items uh, that you believe are essential to a Dooney collection. Um, I've got um, a ton of stuff pulled out. I'm going to try to do as much of it as possible in categories. And because you all know that I cannot count, we're going to start with the bonus items. We'll get those out of the way first. How's that? <laughs> so we're going to do the bonus items first. Um, I did try to stick to 10, um, but I actually ended up, it was my list is a little bit of a cross between actual items and then actual categories that I believe are essential to um, a Dooney collection. Now, I'm going to go on record and say, while I have pulled out tons of things, there were a couple of things that I'm going to cover that I did not find in my digging of things out for today. So I will talk to you um, about those, and I would just ask that you either rely on um, videos from folks in the community, um, my previous uploads, or good old Google images if you are unsure what bags um, I am referring to. So let me see if I can get the chat to actually come up and see who we have in the chat tonight. Um, we have Miss Angie, Regina Ferguson, Samaria Robertson. Uh oh, the chat's moving on me. Sunflower is six, undoubtedly Sinise or indubitably Sinise. Uh, Rosalind Ellis, CF, Ingrid Scott, DJ King, Karen Smith. Thank you, ladies, all for joining. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up. We are going to start. Hi, like help now. Um, I'm going to start my 10 essentials with the bonus items. So the first bonus item is actually a color category. And it is bone or white, preferably pebbled leather bags, with either the British tan or the Sierra trim. That is like my go-to color combo for the summer, I reach for it often. I don't know what it is, but I started liking that color combo of bags when I was in like junior high school. And it's something that has just stuck with me. I think that it's clean, it's classic, it's polished. Depending on what part of the country you live in, you can actually wear that color combo year round. So I'm gonna start with a bonus item that I did not have time to pull out and that is 
pebbled leather or bone leather or bone um, colored leather with the British tan or the Sierra trim. It is absolutely perfect. Like starting Easter right through Labor Day weekend. Absolutely love it. The second bonus item or bonus category is none other than Dooney accessories, but not just any accessories. I'm going to say specifically black and caramel. Now, this is kind of a wallet, crossbody, grab and go, you know, situation. It's what I had time to dig out after being away for two weeks from home spending most of yesterday in my bed and trying to run errands today. Um, so caramel, because it pairs so beautifully with the British tan and the Sierra trim, which is the trim on many, I'm not going to say all, but many of Dooney's bags. So if you have kind of these staple colors, then you can kind of move into your accessories and live in them and go from bag to bag to bag without having to worry about them not pairing well with your bag because these colors are just kind of classic. If you want a caramel or caramel colored uh, accessory collection to ooh and ah over, then you have to check out um, Suz What's uh, channel. She has tons of um, that will just make you drool. She also has up her hashtag Dooney Collection Essentials um, a video. It was posted on yesterday. So if you have not checked that out, then as soon as this live stream is over, make sure that you go over and check it out. One, it is absolutely hilarious. Two, it is an amazing list of curated items um, that I think everyone should have in their collection. And of course, it is presented in a way that only says what can deliver with both the class of Dooney and Burke and the comedy specifically that you will find on her channel. So again, second bonus item category because I'm starting at the back. Caramel colored uh, accessories and black. Now, this one is the, I think it's a fold-over clutch or something along those lines. And then this one, the Tribe, we all purchased probably 50 million of these when we went to the bucket list experience. Um, there was a steel blue... Um, I think it's the fold over zip wallet. Steel blue, bronze, black, pewter. I don't think it came in pearl, but I could be wrong. If you remember, leave a comment if you're watching on the replay or in the chat and let me know if I omitted any colors. Okay. So those are the bonus items because, again, I can't count and follow even my own instructions. So we will start today at the end. All right, and I'm going to toss. I've got things uh, everywhere. So, okay. So the, let me, let me check them off as I go to make sure that I don't forget covering anything. Okay, the, I guess, first of official category that I'm going to cover is not only um, I'm, it's going to be a combo because it is both a bag style or silhouette and it is also a leather and you cannot start a Dooney and Burke collection. I don't think you can say that you have a Dooney and Burke collection if you don't have Florentine. And I know that's controversial. That's like saying, if you don't have Alto, you don't have a collection. I don't believe that. I do have Alto, but I do feel like because Dooney is so classic and it's known for its thick, hardy Italian leather, that whether it is a large bag or a small bag or an accessory, I think that Florentine is essential. 
But I also believe that you need a satchel in your collection. And I am starting there because the then large, now, no, it was then medium, now large satchel is essential. And I'm not saying the size, I'm talking about the silhouette. Because now this comes in nano, micro, mini, small, medium, large, extra large, quadruple. You, you get the point. It doesn't come in like the quadruples and the extra large. But there is a size that is available for everyone. So while I believe that this silhouette is essential in a collection, a satchel in Florentine, a satchel and Florentine, see how I'm doubling and multiplying my categories already i think those are essentials now this color <laughs> um i would say that while this salmon color is pretty bright and would be great for this time of year or if you live in a warmer climate a year-round color I would suggest that if you're going to do your first piece of Florentine, regardless of what it is, I would recommend going with a neutral or, or your favorite color if it's available. Mine is red. My first satchel was in black. And it needs conditioning, cleaning, loving because I wore it out. But I just think that because if you're building a collection, you want clean, classic pieces that are going to be timeless, whether it's black, navy, red, chestnut, um, a natural Florentine, that you should start with a neutral color so that you get the most bang out of the silhouette and the leather. Or you go with your favorite color, which for me is red because it will be something that you will enjoy having in your collection and you will reach for over and over and over again. If you're a bright girl, then by all means, look for a pop of color, grab a salmon, grab a dandelion or, you know, something along those lines. But if you're building a collection and you're looking to just kind of um, focus on some staple pieces, I would recommend Florentine leather, the satchel in the size that is appropriate for you, and in a color that you will reach for. So that is the first thing um, that I will recommend. Let me know in the chat um, if you have a satchel Florentine in your collection. And if so, what color you have. And if you're watching on the replay, leave a comment and let me know what you have in your collection. So that is the first thing. So nano, small, medium, large, micro, what, whatever, Florentine, satchel, it's a collection essential. Okay, the next one, and I guess I need to, because after a while this is gonna get crazy. -er. So the next item that I will say um, is, you need a crossbody, and not just any crossbody. I think you need a crossbody that has an outside pocket. Now, for me, outside pocket is, throw that over there. Okay, outside pocket is a preference for me, but the reason that I say it is a collection essential is because when you are trying to be hands-free, which is typically the reason that we carry crossbody bags, oftentimes it's for, I mean, you're doing it from a convenience standpoint. So having to open and dig all in your bag to find your phone, to grab your keys, for your wipes, for your mask, for your a parking ticket or whatever, it's just not convenient so I think that if you're going to do a crossbody, then it should be a crossbody that has an outside pocket. Now, outside pocket, front or back, your preference, but I think that in order for you to say that you have a collection that is really gonna work for you, especially when you're hands-free, 
You need to have a crossbody with an outside pocket. Now, I have a couple here to show you from a prop standpoint. And this one is a bit controversial. Um, people either love it or hate it or they're, um, you know, they have tons of them or they're terrified of it because of some of the horror stories on the strap. But this is the Dooney crossbody. The crossbody was not the first uh, crossbody that I purchased from Dooney. It was actually the letter carrier. And it was far too small, even many, 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 many moons ago when I purchased it. It was still too small for me, but it did have the outside pocket. It's actually currently available on, I think, both Dooney and ILD. So if you're not sure what bag that is, um, take, take a look at it and let me know if I was out of my mind even then um, to purchase a bag that was so small. But it's perfect for my sister. So I think I'd purchased two or three letter carriers before I realized that it was absolutely a deal breaker, too small for me. Um, so I gave those to her and she has enjoyed them for years. But this is just the classic Dooney crossbody. Um, it is generous in size not oversized it has an adjustable strap it has the center detachable section so you can go from adjustable crossbody to actually small shoulder bag so you're getting um, a little bit of a, a two-in-one it does not have feet under the bottom um, but it has a generous outside pocket for all of those things that I shared with you. This is great on like excursions and cruises and the farmer's market and at soccer games. And I don't know, standing in the line at the DMV, this bag style just works. It is a little bit north-south, but I have seen the most petite of ladies pull this north-south silhouette off as well as really tall um women be able to pull this off so i think that this bag is essential in any in every collection not necessarily the db75 multi although i do think this is pretty classic dooney with the black ground background and the um, multicolor. but this silhouette comes in all different kinds of leathers colors price points it's one that if you're shopping on QVC, it is always available. If you're looking on the secondary market, it seems to always be available. If you're looking for new, it's always available at the outlets. I think this is an essential. And then as another alternative, just to show you, um, this is the Lani or Lanny crossbody. And this one is in red in Saffiano leather. Very similar, but not the same. Okay. Uh, Saffiano coated cotton, feet under the bottom, no feet. Uh, the length is about the same, but the depth is different. And this one has an uh, nope it has this one can double as a short shoulder as well strap is removable on this one strap is not removable on this one so i'm curious in the comments and in the chat, if you have a crossbody in your collection, and if so, do a quick survey and let me know if you have a crossbody that has an outside pocket. And I'm also nosy, so I want to know what crossbody you have. Like, do you have um, a Haley, a Field, an Ambler? Do you have a crossbody, a letter carrier, do you have Lani, Lani, L-A-N-I, pronounce it how you like. 
Let me know in the comments and in the chat what you have in your collection. All right. So that is the next item. I think that's number two. Number three, I did not have a chance to dig out, but I do have a video planned for her when I do find the missing bag. Um, but the next one is a Dooney bag. Not just any backpack, although I think any backpack will work. My go-to is the pod. I know it's small. I know, I know, I know it's small. And it probably doesn't have much more capacity than probably one of the two um, crossbodies that I just shared with you. But there was something about the pod. It was the first backpack that I purchased and quite honestly right up until COVID it was the only backpack that I had um in my Dooney collection um well let me back up because y'all know I got um Murphy that won't fit my laptop um and then they came out with Ronnie and why do I feel like there's another one there's a large Murphy, a medium Murphy, pod. Who am I forgetting? Murphy, large, medium. Ron, did Ronnie? I think Ronnie may have called come in a small and a large. Correct me in the comments um, and in the chat. But I think I think I got them all. And that backpack went to Hawaii. That backpack has gone to the farmer's market. That backpack has been to the state fair. That backpack has been on cruises. That backpack has been my go-to bag for chaperoning field trips for my nephew, who thank goodness is no longer <laughs> chaperone school trip eligible. Um, but like the zoo and the Renaissance Festival and the aquarium and World of Coca-Cola and the doggone petting zoo. I mean, that pot backpack has been everywhere. And even though I have the other backpacks in my collection, that's the one that I reach for most often which is probably why I could not put my hands on it because I don't remember where I put it after the last trip. <laughs> but it's a go-to. So that's the next one. Um, the next category is what I'm going to call after five or tabletop. Um, so whether it is a clutch, whether it is a, um, a nice size or an oversized, I'm looking for, a, okay, here it is, it got buried under the cross bodies. Um, and I think I have one more here. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. So tabletop or after five. So these are the bags that likely will never see the inside of work, at least for me. Um, these are the bags for accessories that I think of for the after five events, like weddings, cocktail hours, those kinds of things. I don't think you need a lot of these in your collection, I, unless that's your lifestyle and then if if so then by all means you know tabletop bag out <laughs> but I do think that there should be at least one in your collection that is kind of specific to those kinds of events the first one that I'm going to share with you is actually a clutch and this one came to me compliments of the purse fairy and it is the Anna clutch it has an outside pocket zipper uh, closure 
And then on the interior, it has a zipper pocket and then just a place where you can stick like your card or your ID. It, you know, it doesn't have a lot of depth to it, but I mean, you could pack for, you know, I'm thinking phone, mask, you know, I don't know if you have to have your readers, maybe readers on the outside and then keys, card case, lipstick on the inside and it is tabletop friendly, right? Not very thick. Um, you could lay it in your lap, but it's also going to be great while you've got a cocktail and maybe a little, I don't know, dessert plate or something in your hand. So I think that a clutch tabletop is absolutely essential. And other alternatives to this, Duty had the extra large Harrington. So if you've got those and you um, are still thinking like, what in the heck am I going to do with this? Then you can check this off in your collection, especially if you got a, a black or maybe even one of the metallic colors in silver or gold. Those are perfect after fives. If you got a black one, um, I would even say if you got uh, like a caramel natural or a bone white kind of because it did come in like a cream color those are clean crisp you can make those work as a after five clutch type situation the other um thing that i would consider again for me tabletop i have um ambler in a couple of different colors this one is in the color fog but you can take the strap off. It's got a little top handle and this is just absolutely adorable. It will sit on the table. Um, you can, you know, slide your hand through while you're dancing or whatever. If you don't want to leave your bag on the table, it's got a place again, mask, phone, tons of organization in the inside. And it just, it's just this dainty. I would not consider this a micro or mini bag because it is a crossbody but if we're talking about after five perfect little tabletop bag then ambler or even the other version that was available at this time which was sawyer a little bit different organization in sawyer my preference is ambler but sawyer would also work as a great you know after five bag um, and then third one that I was able to pull out, I love this one. This one was gifted um, to me. This color, uh, I bought one and then the other one was gifted to me. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I actually forgot the size of this until I pulled it back out. Now, um... This is going to be a little larger than the ones that I've shown you, but keep in mind, I'm a big bad girl. So my after five, I'm probably gonna be a little bit more comfortable than several of you in carrying a larger after five bag. Um, but this one is none other than the Alto Cecilia in the color grape. And this, is absolutely stunning i have it in red it is y'all know red to me is my version of black it will go anywhere anytime do anything i don't care what i'm wearing it is just a statement but i also feel like cecilia in this gorgeous grape color checks all those boxes She's got um, details from every single angle. She can not only go as a clutch, again, a larger clutch, but she also has hardware so you can attach the strap. And just from a size comparison, wanted me to see Anna versus Cecilia. I think that 
this one is a great tabletop bag. Other options for tabletop, I would say um, Claire from the Pembroke Collection is also another really, really great tabletop bag. The small um, barrel bag, or I think it's the 28 in a solid black is a great little small tabletop uh, bag. Um, the small version of the double pocket shoulder bag, I have it in nylon. It's not the most polished, but it is small, a little bit larger, has a little bit more capacity than the ones that um, I just showed you. But again, here we go with Miss Cecilia, strap there, center zip. She has some gussets on the side, so you're going to be able to get a few things um in her without feeling like you had to make a compromise on what you're actually carrying in your bag. I love this bag. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, okay, okay. All right, so that's it for the, um, you know, after five tabletop bag recommendations. Okay, so let me get this one put away and figure out where I want to go next. Okay, the next one is um let's just go ahead and knock out the tote because you already know I'm a tote girl. So if you don't have a tote, you don't have a collection, and it doesn't have to be a medium rustle it doesn't have to be a large rustle you could do a small rustle you could do a regular leisure you could do a charleston you could do any number of shopper tote style bags to check that box they're great for travel they're great for laptop and work bags they're great for baby bag situations for overnight bags um my totes have at times, um, I didn't carry one my last trip to Tennessee, but there have been times that I have said, oh, I'm going to do, I don't know, a spa day, you know, at, at the house once I get there and I'll put all of my stuff that I need because I have a steamer that stays um, in Nashville. So that I can steam and mask and I'll just throw all of that stuff in a, in a tote or in, like in my Newport. I um, have taken, you know, like, oh, I'm going to do a polish change and take my whole manicure situation. Or maybe I've been protective styling and I'm going to take my hair down and I need to wash flat iron condition, steamed. I'll, you need a tote in your collection. So I have the um, the leisure here in Greta. And while I think that every collection should have this bag in the regular size or the small in this specific color, I acknowledge different folks, different strokes, different preferences in collection. But since this is my, you know, Dooney Collection Essentials, I think that this is an essential. And if you have been with me for a while, then you will have likely heard the story of me being in the airport and this bag getting on my radar and then coming back, sharing it with you. Um, and while I already had leisures in my collection, I had not taken the Greta plunge and it was a beautiful thing it has been love at first sight at every color I'm still waiting for the slate to come back because Lucinda Quimley has me wanting that one but um this tote is an essential 
And I'm curious, how many of you have this in either the Timoro Brown, um, the Navy, the Slate, or quite honestly, any of the other colors that it has uh, come in. So this tote, I would also recommend, um, where is it? Um, haven't gotten to those yet. Where did it go? I am surrounded in a sea, oh, here it is, sea of bags. This is the East West Chelsea. I know, I know, she has a center zip. I can live with it in this bag. Thanks to Anj Loves Dooney, I have this bag in red Florentine. I think it's in natural. And um, most recently purchased the white taupe. I... This is a must. Or another tote would be, um, I would say Smith. Smith is kind of a, in a little bit of a category of its own. It's a little bit tote, a little bit satchel, little bit, little bit, right? I think that one falls in this category um, as well. I would also say that Russell small, medium, large, extra large falls in this category. Find a tote, find a size that works for you. Uh, if you're not afraid of Florentine, I would recommend getting one in Florentine so that you can say that you have a workhorse bag in your collection. My extra large red Florentine Russell or the large Florentine Russell. No, I think it was the extra large. I think that th there used to be in an extra size. But anyway, I, I digress. That bag has been from pillar to post with me. It's a good tote. I know that is going to be oversized and way too big for many of you. But I stand on find a tote size that works for you. And buy it that that's that's just it okay the next is did I have another tote here if so we're gonna skip it the next item that I will say is a Dooney collection essential is a bag in a non-traditional shape. This is another one that I did not get to dig out because I needed the ladder to get to the top, top, top shelf in the uh, duty vault. But specifically, um, Emilia is a non-traditional shape. Um, there is Janine that is now more popular because of the book tote but it's more boxy, square, not a traditional hobo or regular satchel style um, carry. I would also count the Dooney, like field tote, not field tote, field, what is it called? The Haley, the field, I guess it's just field, crossbody as well as any of the Dooney duck bags as non-traditional shapes. Um, another one would be Xena, which was available in Alto and Suede a couple years ago at Christmas time. Um, the Rosanna, um, that one is a little bit more non-traditional, but very structured. And I just think that you should have one of these. Now, I got this one, of course. This this should have been purchased the uh, Saturday of the uh, meet and greet in Chicago. But I got influenced. And by the time our shopping excursion was over, 
uh, the bag was sold out. It, it was gone. And it took me a little while to get it because I had to wait for Dooney to restock it. And then when they did, I jumped all over it. Um, but I think that this is just a little different shape. It's crossbody. Um, Xena is a bit more of a satchel. Uh, Rosanna is a shoulder bag. Um, Peppa is more of a top handle carry. Um, oh, Alto Evelina. She's got a little bit satchel, little bit bubble bag, little, oh, I'm drawing a blank. But those are just some bags that, in my opinion, don't have the traditional shape. And I think any collection, every collection, should have what I consider to be a non-traditional shape. Now, for your collection, you would need to figure out what a non-traditional shape is for you. So, for your collection, a barrel bag may be a non-traditional bag or... Although not available from Dooney, these heart-shaped bags and circular mini bags, those may be bags that fill the gap in your non-traditional shape category. But again, something that is a little bit more outside of the box, I think is essential for a Dooney collection. Okay, so the next item is a fun category and that is I think that every Dooney collection should have a graphic or novelty print and I'm talking about like the lollipop squirrel um, the doodle pick a color background um, the hydrangea that's still out here. Um, the, uh, really the DB75, um, can be considered, uh, a graphic, although I think they consider it a signature. Um, then there is also, like, the, um, Montego, the Siesta, the Americana, the Banana Lees, the Serengeti, um, what, what's, a, um, there are a couple others. Leave them in the comment in the chat because I know that there are some more graphic and novelty prints that I'm not thinking of. And when folks are watching or looking for, um, things, they may be thinking, oh, I don't have any of those in my collection. Well, there, those aren't all of them. You, you could find some others. But here is a graphic or novelty print. This is the Montego in Olivia in nylon. She checks so many, so many collection um, needs. Like the shape of the bag could be the not, uh, doctor's bag is, is more traditional. But for some collections, it may not be um, traditional. But the, the color, the graphic, oh yeah, the bumblebee, the watercolors, the cupcake, absolutely. The lemon, absolutely. Those are some amazing graphic and novelty prints. And this Montego, along with Siesta, many of us have not only bags and accessories, um, but we also got travel pieces. So... Um, I'm not saying that you need all of them, although I know many of us in this chat have matching sets, but I think that the novelty is absolutely an essential for a collection. You don't have to have all of the novelty prints, although I think everyone should have Americana. Dooney, if you're listening, we have been begging. We need for you to make that right. And the ladies are going to let you know in the comments and in the chat how many of us are waiting for Americana to come back in weekenders, in duffels, in 
bowler duffels in leisure shoppers of all varieties in large zip around wallets and cosmetic cases in backpacks i.e murphy large pods i mean it, uh, we need a americana umbrella we, we need an americana card case and an americana coated canvas passport holder uh, peter are are you hearing me you are leaving money on the table because if you bring back americana and all of the different pieces i guarantee you you will be able to sell them matter of fact even though i detest pre-order because i don't think that dooney does that very well that's a collection i i just do the pre-order and just wait for it to ship but anyway okay so we've got um i'm sorry this is is this this actually i think is kendra not olivia what is this one this one is actually kendra um i feel like this is olivia but the difference in kendra and olivia may have been the size because it definitely says the kendra satchel okay all right so next i don't know maybe i should take a quick look at the chat and see how you ladies feel about what i've covered so far am i way off do you all have these things in your collections as well i kind of hope you do but if not that's okay too that's why we're doing these uh this 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 tag um Hey. Yep, Doodle, Cupcake, Watercolors, Graphica, Bumblebee, the Check and Dots. Oh, yeah. Um, I do have that one, too. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. I think some of you are going to flip out when I say this one. But I think that every... Dooney collection needs a black bag. My mama raised me right. I'm not a heathen. I I do rebel when it comes to black bags, but she raised me right, and I do have black bags in my collection. And I acknowledge that red is not appropriate everywhere, although I disagree with y'all that red can't go some places because i believe that is a whole lie um but i have black bags and i think they are essential now i didn't tell you i was reaching for them often i didn't tell you i was buying them often although i have purchased a few more during the you know zombie apocalypse I don't know, maybe I thought we were in the end days and I was going to need a bunch of black bags. But anyway, I think that every Dooney collection needs a black, a black bag. If you have one, check it off and stop looking. You don't, y'all say black is forever. It's classic, yada, yada. So you don't need but one, right? When you have one, you've met the criteria. Don't, don't, don't get stuck on this one and be like, Dooney Addict said I needed a black bag. No, you need one black bag. I don't care how old it is, I don't care what kind of wear is on it, I don't care whether it's big, small, crossbody, if you have one, check the box and move on. All right, so black bags. Um, you have your black tabletop, okay? So we've already talked about this one. You have your black crossbodies, although not this is how i would do black it needs it needs something to it then there is the uh black tote which was my uh, this is the uh, retro embossed or debossed medium russell i carried this forever as my work bag because it had a little oomph to it because it wasn't just plain black i was able to carry everything um it was able to fit my laptop 
a lot of people passed on this collection. Some people got the bright colors that were available. But I also like the fact, again, that it was full of logos, but it was very understated. This has also been in many uh, uh, meetings and I'm trying to think that I carry this to a house closing at one time. I feel like I did, but I can't remember which house. But anyway, black bag. I do have it. I don't think I've, I don't know that I've, I, I used this as a book bag even when I was in school. It's It's been a little bit of all those things. Um, I also have, I have black. I have black. I have Smith in black. I didn't tell you I carry black or I don't carry black a lot, but I even have Smith in black. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is a good bag. In every other color, I cannot bring myself to take the plastic off of the carrier because black um I do need to do something about her tassels though I need to put some little covers on them before they get wild I want to keep those tame and then another black but can also be in the non-traditional shape and that is none other than my alto Pippa, she has been loved, 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 and carried. She's got little, why is she? She's got pockets on the side. This bag has not been up in a long time. I just, I, if I have to grab she's kind of always out and ready to go and I don't have to scale my carry back with her because I can just dump everything in it's a good bag it's a good bag perfect place for my pins and my uh, then you know most often it was lipstick now it's my um, Sol de Janeiro lip butter but it's a good bag it's a really good bag this bag out of Alto, of the black Alto bags I have, this one is probably the one that's been carried the most. Out of Florentine, um, I've got a double pocket shopper, which was recently, last few months on QVC. Between that one, I have a dome satchel, and then the black what was then medium satchel, now large medium satchel. Those are probably the black bags that I have carried the most. The bag that I have probably got the most wear on that's black. Probably my nylon Newport tote because it has, I don't know how many thousands of airport, you know, um, miles, airline miles on it because it was my work laptop bag after I moved out of this one for some time but yeah and I know you can see that's that's just kind of this is the kind of the patina effect of Alto I probably could try on the bottom to do a spot test to clean her but she didn't look like that when I first got her so those are all my love marks okay um, the next is a bag, um, essential, collection essential is a bag, too many bags with texture. So I'm talking about ostrich, all weather, croco, um, lizard, though Caldwell, those I think you should have either an accessory or a bag 
If you're going to do ostrich, my personal preference is the color pearl because it's clean, it's classic, it has a little bit of iridescence to it, and for me, that means you can use it year-round, but it is just so different once you see it in person. I don't know anyone that's seen ostrich pearl in person and didn't at least give it a second thought because... I think it's it's just one of those that if you're truly collecting and building um, a well-rounded bag um, arsenal, that's one that's kind of it's it's kind of needed. Um, but what I'm going to show you is one that I've shown you before. It is um, my Caldwell Cooper in light gold. So she has this mermaid effect that never seems to really pick up on camera. You might be able to see a little bit in there, but this bag, do you see all of the texture here? The, the texture? Yep, Croco, the woven, um, the woven emboss, absolute great texture. Um, this is amazing i would also say that like the db 75 that's the anniversary print it has um texture um for those of you i'm talking about this one it has texture the cork has a uh, texture to it which is um oh i just drew a blank i was going to tell you it's similar to uh leather and another collection but I, I just I just drew a blank so um forget I brought that up um also more Dooney texture right completely different but you can see the texture in the coated canvas not every coated canvas um some of them like the Greta are a little smoother this has a little bit more, um, yes, so it's Waverly. Um, this has a little bit more texture to it than the Greta, which is a little smoother. But this just has all kinds of, ooh, yeah. I think this bag needs a little bit of care. Let me, should I move in her this week? I gotta go. Went to the office a few days this week. This is the one and only Cooper that I have in my collection. She stood, you know, it, it, this one works. This one works. This one works. I don't need another one. Okay. And then, am I going to do, we've already talked about the monogram. You've seen that in crossbody and so forth. So I think I've kind of made that point. So I'm going to scratch that one off and consider it discussed because it's also gonna come up in what I'm gonna call my last collection essentials category. And that is Dooney Travel Wear. Yup. And by travel wear, I mean dot pits, weekenders, gym bags, cosmetic bags, train cases, bowler duffels, passport holders, umbrellas. I'm talking about all of the things that are needed to pack for a weekend. So I've got here the weekender that I traveled in this past week. It's not even fully unpacked because I just got back home like just a little over 48 hours ago. So it is not fully unpacked. Um, but I have this weekend their style. I've got it in a couple of different colors. I also, if you're looking for, um, a video of like travel pieces or comparison between Dooney, um, travel wear, I have a handbag happy hour where I go through like all of the travel pieces in my collection. Not all of them, all of the the varieties, not every single bag. Okay, so this is a weekender. Dooney, we need the weekender in 
the Greta coated canvas in the Timoro brown and the navy. Would get greedy and ask for other colors, but I know you don't do well with greedy requests. So just the navy and the Timoro brown, weekender. Thank you, sir. Okay, so um, also in that category, I shared um, an umbrella. I don't travel without an umbrella, even if I check the weather forecast. I'm traveling with an umbrella. For every business trip, I have an umbrella. For every, like, I do not leave home without either an umbrella in my travel bag, in my car, in the trunk, in my luggage, because you just never know. I also kind of am bouncing between more toiletry bags um, in my luggage for my toiletries and my dop kit because the dop kit is nice and compact and I can get some of the larger size toiletries in there like the full size toothpaste, like the medium um, size bottle lotion, like my um, water pick uh, toothpaste or toothbrush travel case, um, the, uh, you know, the, the deodorants and perfumes and I can get all of that in a dot kit. So ladies, while that is typically advertised in the men's wear, I would recommend um, when they have it in red um, or black, or navy to pick one of those up and try using it as your travel toiletry bag because that's what it's intended for for men. My um, nephew has one and he of course uses it for toiletries when we travel. When he's at home it's where he stores like his um, beard trimmers. He's 18 now he has a full beard. Um, <laughs> Uh, his beard, the clippers, the edgers, the um, clipper oil, those kinds of things. When he doesn't need it for travel, that's where he keeps all of that stuff stored um, in the linen closet at home so that when he needs them, everything is there. So you got Father's Day coming up. If you are undecided, not sure, want to throw a hint that, hey, we're going to go somewhere this summer maybe a dot kit with some um, toiletries and then maybe a cologne, um, you know, fill in the gaps, you know, your significant other. I'm just going to start the idea generation. Um, other things, um, where did it go? It was, oh, here it is. A Dooney train case. They have these from time to time. I have it in red. I also have it in navy. Um, they're slightly different in size and organization, but this is great for travel. So ladies, I personally still recommend the dot kit. I stand on that because it will fit in your um, weekender. It will fit in your... Um, carry on it will fit in a larger piece of luggage you can throw it inside a tote you'll still have you can throw it in a backpack you have all your stuff train case is great if you are traveling by car because it does not fit nicely in a piece of luggage it's going to take up way too much space um d-o-p-p d-o-p-p -P, charlie um it is like it's like a men's toiletry case for their travel essentials. Um, this just takes up too much space. So you're welcome. So weekend, whether it's weekends away, trips by car. I don't know if you're going, you know, uh, in a wedding and you need to like pack your makeup or your travel stuff because you're doing a bachelorette the night before something along those lines i would recommend a train case for something like that you'll have to stop between dooney and ild to find them they pop up periodically although i've not seen them pop up since like the beginning of covid so it's been a little while um 
But if you're lots of stuff and a car, then I recommend a train case, ladies. Otherwise, I recommend doing the men's dot kit. And I say men's because that's where it's advertised. But oftentimes, if you just do a search on Dooney under travel, it will pull up bowlers, weekenders, it will pull up gym bags, it will pull up the dot kits, the passport holders. It will pull up all of that stuff so that you can kind of get a full picture of what's available travel wear at that time. Um, I have Florentine, coated cotton, pebbled, the one bag. And I have it in black, believe it or not. It's the um, extra large Vanessa. No, it's the XX large Vanessa because this is, I think this is the extra large Vanessa here, but there's a travel bag and sweet baby Jesus, if Dooney would bring that back in either the Greta, this DB75, or dare I say Americana. I'd fight you in the streets if it was the last one. I'm just telling you, I would have a semi out of body experience over that piece. It is absolutely phenomenal. And it is like the, per it can get heavy because it is a weekender style bag and it's just a shoulder strap. So you're not going to be able to like wheel it any place. Um, but. It is amazing. I'm talking about like you could pack for a weekend easily. And I'm a heavy packer. I'm a heavy packer. And I have packed for the Christmas holiday. That's winter clothes, jeans, sweaters, sweater dresses, that kind of thing. In that bag, it you have to know how to pack. It is amazing. And Duty seemingly forgot that they made it and it has disappeared. But it if, if you see it, just say, I, I told you, buy it, travel with it, and you can thank me later because it is phenomenal. Way more capacity than any travel bag that I have mentioned tonight, but I think I pulled it out to show it in the handbag happy hour. So if you're curious about what the size difference is, like the other travel bags will actually fit in that bag, that's the one. That, that you want to go and take a look at. So, um, so yeah, I think that's it. So, um, my two bonus categories, you know, the bone, the white with the British or the Sierra trim, it's this time of year. Just get with it, ladies. It's clean. It's classic. If you get it in pebbled, you can literally take a um, soapy, warm, uh, mild soap cloth and give it a bath. You can give it a bath, clean it all up, and it, it's going to be perfect. It will it will match with everything you wear this summer. I don't care whether you're in sneakers or whether you're in sandals or heels. It is just absolutely perfect. And then the other thing is those were the bonus items, ladies. I actually started with bonus items tonight. Um, it is Dooney Caramel and Black Accessories. Those are like... I'm, I'm not telling you what kind of wallet you need. I'm not telling you how, you know, catch-alls and all of that. I'm just saying for you to say you have a collection, you need caramel or caramel, depending on how you want to pronounce it, and black, and you are set even if you don't have anything else. Those are the bonuses. And then you need a crossbody with an outside pocket. You need a backpack, preferably pod. Um, you need a tabletop or after five clutch small bag situation. You need a tote that is sized appropriately for you. My preference, the bigger, the better. You need a Florentine satchel, small, medium, large, extra large, micro, nano, pick your preference. That's what you need. You need a non-traditional shape, Janine, Amelia, a duck bag, um, Zena, Rosanna, Philippa, e Evelina, you pick, pick one of those. Um, the next is you need texture 
in your collection. Croco, Waverly, um, Ostrich. Um, I'm going to even say all weather leather from its original because that was thick, hardy, textured, pebbled leather. You need some texture in your collection.